Hey, a review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, reviewing music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Architects record entitled For Those That Wish to Exist. This is the ninth studio length album by the English metalcore band Architects, one of my favorite bands with an amazing discography. This is the follow up to their 2018 smash hit record, Holy Hell, which was such an amazing statement musically, as well as the loss of such a core member of the band. It really was a harrowing experience with some of their best work up until that point. But besides Holy Hell, records like All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us are fantastic. And if you go back to their early discography, that's usually pretty damn good too. So it is a cause of celebration and intrigue that Architects is coming out with a new record, but increasingly my weariness grew with this record as more and more singles released and out of the four singles released, it really did exhibit some major issues in what they were going for. Architects always had that wave of accessibility, and when a band changes their style, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Plenty of my favorite bands and bands that I've enjoyed have turned their style around better. This is much more of a straightforward rock record with a lot of arena-sized anthems, a lot of arena-sized drum work and guitar work, and generally a cleaner sound that doesn't go on the heavy side that much. Singles like Dead Butterflies, Anthemic as it is, is not a metal core track. Meteor, my least favorite single released in anticipation, is the farthest from a metal core track that you could ever get. Animals is a really good single, but I would not classify this as a metal core track. So for purist, for elitist with architects, I feel like it's going to be one of those things that if you are so stuck in the past of their style, you're going to want to stay away from this record. For me, some of architects' best work in the past has been their more atmospheric and beautiful and low-key tracks. Tracks. But here there are some glaring issues that bog down this entire track listing. This pseudo atmospheric vibe throughout the entire thing gets tiresome in a way that I have never heard on a prior release from this band. Flight Without Feathers is an example of a track where it is done tastefully and it is very swirling. It does feel very lavish and gorgeous and the assembly of it is great. But the major point that I want to point out is how well produced this specific track is. This record otherwise has some major, major mixing problems. It has the same production team, so I don't know what the hell happened here. I don't know if it was a translation error in how they were trying to make their style more anthemic, but somewhere along the lines, somewhere along the road in the process, they managed to make their sound sound so dull half the time, and these choruses feel like they should be a lot sharper than they are, but these glistening and shimmering verses that try to catapult into these roaring choruses that just do not have a solid bridge that links the two together is something that pops up time and time again, not only on the singles, but on the deep cuts of this record too. It is lacking in so many ways and just feels like an unsharpened dagger. And it does not help that this record is almost an hour's worth of material. It encompasses a very long runtime, and considering that there are so many consistent flaws with so many of these tracks, it's difficult to ignore. It's unfortunate in the sense that the lyrics are still at a fever pitch and the thematic elements of this record going into it with how we perceive the world, the end of the world, and just the slow progression and decay of apathy and depression. Architects are no strangers to having some great lyrical elements, and while there are quite a few tracks here where I think the narrative falters in the sense of it falls off and doesn't hit the point that it necessarily should to properly encompass the idea that they are trying to play with. For the most part, the lyrics are still just as good as they've ever been on an Architects record with some very poetic moments, some very powerful moments, specifically on the choruses. It isn't a well-kept secret that Sam Carter's a fantastic vocalist and that is even more proven on this record in my opinion. I know a lot of people are upset that he's not really going above and beyond with his gruff, rough, rigid 
vocals as much as usual, especially considering this isn't an exclusively metal record, but I really do like his higher range. I really do like his lower range. I do like when he's just harmonizing and taking it slow. My problems don't lie with Sam. It more so lies with what's backing him and how it is produced, but I do think that his vocals do run the risk a lot of times of sounding a lot more slathered in effects and reverb and just sounding very processed, which is something that has happened in the past, but there definitely is this electronic tinge, and that also goes with the instrumentals that definitely does also have this electronic tinge to it despite having organic musicianship. The depressed, moody tone that the entire album takes is good, and going out with that sort of concept, especially in this current political and social climate, it seems like the thing that would make a lot of sense that would be the type of thing that Architects could really capitalize on with a concept album, but I think too often these instrumentals and these lyrics do not go hand in hand in a way to fully sell the full impact of what they're wanting to do. And this record being so long does not help either. Otherwise, I do appreciate how desperate everything feels. It feels like it's locked up and it is about to completely burst. And when it is anthemic, Dead Butterflies is an example of that with the horns, it really does come come off in an interesting way you don't hear very often from architects with this triumphant vibe. And I think that what I'm trying to hammer home about this sort of discrepancy in how it comes across, I want to point out the track in Ordinary Extinction specifically, where it feels like it's constantly driving and building up to something, and when it finally hits that massive crescendo where it does sound like something that could have been a chorus on, say, Holy Hell, it doesn't hit necessarily when it just descends right back into this buildup that sounds like a cheesy trailer for some sci-fi movie. It genuinely sounds like a soundtrack, like a backing of something. I appreciate how architects have managed to diversify here, and certainly there are some great ideas at play here, and I do like it when they go more atmospheric, and this rock sound isn't inherently a bad thing, but I think the way they went about executing it, combined with the extremely long runtime, as well as how a lot of these tracks are really oddly mixed and don't do necessarily as much justice as they they could to some of the instruments and some of Sam's vocals, it makes it be wrapped up in this mixed bag aesthetic that I just cannot help but turn away from the more I listen to it. This bleak commentary on our current state of affairs is very apt and it makes a lot of sense and lyrically it is a poignant record that should be taken note of and for Architects fans, I think this will be the type of thing that will divide the fan base a little bit. I'm definitely on the lesser side of the factor and I'm literally looking at my architects poster right now so don't consider myself a hater this is obviously just my opinion and in the future if they play around with these ideas I just hope that they do it in a more cohesive way that doesn't feel like it's such a labor to listen to on many occasions I'm going to be giving this album a 5.5 5 out of 10 and that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Architects record for those that wish to exist? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.